So Jules, you might just explain to anybody watching this video um, who you are, what you're studying, and what you've studied in Canada prior to coming here. My name is uh, Jules Estigoy. I'm studying here at IT Carlo for my Bachelor's of Engineering, uh, Mechanical Engineering, Honors degree. And I came from Canada uh, with an advanced diploma in Mechanical Engineering. And I've been given an advanced degree. Perfect. So Jules, you might just give people who might be watching this video again an insight into why you decided to come to Ireland, and more specifically, why you decided to study at IT Carlo. Well, coming to IT Carlo definitely wasn't an easy decision. And it came down to a number of factors. Um, two of them, uh, most uh, for the most part, that came down for me was uh, one financially, um, looking at uh, the options and comparing it to some of the options on Canada internationally. I see Carlo studying in Ireland was overall a cheaper option for coming here, and there was a really good uh, agreement between the Institutes of uh, Technology Ireland and Ontario College. Yeah. And looking at it from a financial standpoint, as a graduate incurring some student debt, it turned out to be um, uh, more uh, financially stable for me to go through this option. You can use your OSAP funding in Ireland, so that, that also helps. I was actually very surprised to know that uh, the government of Ontario would be supporting students internationally, uh, but they do this in a way where they know students are going to come back and they figure that if students are getting an education somewhere else, yeah. they're still going to be employable back in Canada. Now I know from dealing with, with you, during, during the application process, that you had a lot of reservations about coming coming here, and how your degree would be recognized or, or acknowledged back in Canada. So, can you maybe give an insight into how you overcame that, that obstacle? Academic recognition was was one of the top things on my mind before coming here, uh, but I've kind of uh, let that go and realized that um, having a one for one agreement. Um, doesn't mean it's the end of the world uh, even coming back. It's, I'd say worst case scenario, it's not accredited. And that's still in the works uh, with the uh, with the PEO. Um, but I realized that I'm getting more than just a, uh, a title out of this. And my academic um, skills that I gained from this experience only gets me so far outside of school, yeah. being employed. After that, there's, there's some soft skills that I've gained from this experience. Yeah. Uh, becoming more employable and my interpersonal skills, being able to work in a group, um, yeah. communicate my ideas effectively. Yeah. I've definitely developed those skills by putting myself out there in the experiences. Final question. Uh, you've been here September, October, November, December, December, six months? Six months, six months. Six months. Yeah. So, can you give people an insight into what you've enjoyed about this experience? And equally, just to make this a bit more balanced, can you give an insight into some of the aspects of the experience that maybe happened in this situation. For sure. Um, I think I think I've had a little bit of both sides here in Ireland and it's part of the learning experience here. Uh, things that I've enjoyed in Ireland, uh, I definitely gotta say the food here. Uh, I gotta say a lot of the I've learned to cook on my own. Yeah. While I'm here. I didn't get to do that so much back in Canada, um, living in a student house. But I've learned to cook for myself and cooking with raw ingredients here, I gotta say the, the, the quality of food is a lot better. And I honestly said, especially the dairy products, it's going to be hard for me to go back to Canada. Can you, you might bring some blocks of butter back home and see if I can do that to your um, the, the country is very scenic, and I would highly encourage anybody that comes here to spend some time traveling the country, and you can't miss out on it. It's something you have to do. One of the things that I've done here uh, with the school is join the hill walk, and we go on uh, hikes every month, at least once a month. Uh, our most recent trip was in Tipperary, and one of the uh, best experiences I've had was drinking out of the stream there, the water's fresh and you drink right out of it. That was uh, really interesting for me. Um, on the flip side, um, some of the things I didn't enjoy so much, but more so I take it as a, as a learning experience, and it's yeah. more so the struggles that come along with living away from family, being on my own, and experiencing new things, living with um, with, with other students as well. Yep. You get to learn uh, how to live with, with people. It's a yeah. different learning experience. The, in terms of the homesickness and being away from family, what have you done to kind of overcome those, those different things? I have been um, FaceTiming my parents pretty often, but I have to say, I have to, I can't do that every day because it's not going to make things any easier. Yeah, yeah. You've got to gain some independence there for sure, and that's one of the big things that come here is you get to uh, independently do things uh, to help you grow as a person. Okay. So Jules, final question. Um, would you recommend this experience 
to another student back in Ontario who might be considering coming abroad to study mechanical engineering or any other program. It's a, it's a big question to answer and if, uh, if I was asked that question before coming here and then now after my experience, I've, I, I've got to say it's I made the right decision coming here and it wasn't an easy decision with a lot of factors going, leaving home, living on my own. Um, but I've definitely, I definitely say it's worth it because I've grown so much as a person. Um, I put myself in situations that aren't always going to be the most comfortable, sometimes yeah. probably not the... Uh, Probably some a, a path that I wouldn't, wouldn't think of doing. But yeah. by putting myself out there, I've grown as a person. And I like to tell myself and some of my friends as well: if you step just outside your level of comfort, yeah. your circle of comfort just becomes slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah. And, and experience more things. I would right. highly recommend um, putting yourself, whatever it is you do in your life, don't be afraid of stepping outside of that. It's great way to look.